parts of the HJ311 by the way this is the bottom part of the filter uh, this basically sucks in the water from this end and it has to give the outlet from the vent so let's put the sponge inside the filter case so the second stage is the filtration so this part has a lot of tiny bits of charcoal in it this is going to be on the second stage of the filter I basically love the mechanism it's pretty good neat design uh, it just drops in like that and this is the top casing part for the entire uh, bottom case let's fix it up so this thing includes a switch where uh, you can turn it off or on or you can push it in the mid level for uh, uh, medium speed on for high speed filtration here's the head of the pump this is the outlet vent and this is where the water is being circulated and gets the water from the lower casing uh, this also has a case so you just have to fix it on to that it's pretty intact uh, apart from that you just have to fix this bottom case to this part and that's pretty much it it's fixed here we have the waterfall kind of outlet uh, this is what I've been wanting for my aquarium just for the noise uh, I just wanted some you know waterfall kind of noise in my aquarium uh, I've been planting a lot of plants in the aquarium uh, and I have gravel inside so it would be pre pretty much good if I had a waterfall effect for the aquarium at the moment so uh, this is how you fix it and uh, this part is basically to go up there this is how it looks now you're supposed to so this is pretty good. This is the waterfall uh, mode of the filter. Let's get to the usual way the filter works. I basically don't know if this will really work. I don't know how the mechanism of suction, air suction works, uh, but just let's give it a try. So this is the other nozzle. It has two outlets. Uh, I believe this has to suck the water in 